this is Empress Virgo of Empress Virgo Tarot back again with another reading. This time it is a what I am feeling energy message for the collective for the week of June 5th to the 11th of 2023. Again, that's June 5th to the 11th of 2023. I hope you guys are staying healthy, happy, and safe out there. And I appreciate all of you guys' love and support for me and for the channel. It is much appreciated, okay? So, <laughs> This week of June 5th to the 11th is going to be an interesting one. Now, uh, to give you a little preview of what's going on with the astrology, you know, last week, May 29th to June 4th, was a time for the collective to get things done in the work atmosphere, whether it be working on 9 to 5, working around your home, or working on business projects or getting deals closed for that, okay? That was a great time for romantic relationships, getting out there, focusing on projects, self-improvement, stuff like that, okay? It was good energy, okay? But this week, we're going to have a fixed sign energy with some conjunctions um, that are going to make everybody seem like they are... Uh, how should I put it delicately? On edge a bit, okay? So let's get into the astrological overview, okay? So Venus is going to enter Leo on Monday, okay? So this is going to trigger fixed sign energy. Uh, Venus and Mars in Leo forming with a stubborn T-square with Jupiter in Taurus and Pluto in Aquarius, okay? So this is going to come to a head on Wednesday, okay? During the first days of the week, people might be... Like I said, on edge, aggressive, and overly sensitive. I'm just giving you a heads up, okay? Um, they might seem like they're ready to fly off the handle or snap like a rubber band. I'm just being honest. Um, and you might say, well, nobody did anything to them. It could be the way you say something, your tone, or you might not even know why somebody snapped. For the most part, it probably won't have anything to do with you. It might be dealing with something they've been holding in. It's been boiling to the surface. And these astrological conjunctions are not going to help that out, okay? So this is going to be a time, like I said, people are going to feel like you're walking on eggshells. You're going to be, especially around people that you, um, how should I say, that have control issues or people think you have control issues or who are very domineering like a boss some of y'all parent or whoever take it how it resonates for you okay so this will be the opportune time to keep your head down your nose down and concentrate on what you're supposed to be doing okay whether it's at work at school uh business pursuits whatever focus on you if you can put off any meetings especially with a boss <laughs> i know this sounds weird but the energy is showing you need to put off any meetings or reschedule them or any negotiations until a Friday. Friday is when the energy will be a little bit more harmonious and there'll be a more good vibes to go around for everybody, okay? On Sunday, though, there will be another emotional, I don't want to say outbreak, but that's what it seems like, where people's feelings can be easily hurt. So you're going to have to Tap into your creativity, escape through your mind, uh, do something that's creative, whether it be art, writing, dancing, whatever it is that keeps you grounded, that's creative, do it. Or even watching a movie. Um, for some of y'all, getting some work done that you couldn't get done at the office because everybody's on pins and needles, that type of energy, take advantage of it on the weekend, okay? Um, because for some of y'all, y'all might want to stay in for the weekend and, 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 and focus on some you time or some family time, okay? So the advice to get you through the week is um, try to avoid group work if you can. I know that's hard. If you're working on a project with someone, if you're working a nine-to-five where you have to collaborate with coworkers, it's kind of hard. You might be able to circumvent it if you delegate um uh, specific activities or part of a, a group project to people that way they don't need you specifically to you know watch over them like that I mean we're all adults but you know some people need more guidance than others um 
try to detach from crowds and focus on your own stuff and your own self-improvement like i said self-care this will be a great time for self-care family time or friend time whatever okay the top astrological event for the week of june 5th to the 11th will be on sunday we will have pluto retrograde it's going to re-enter capricorn okay um this is going to happen after giving us a sneak peek you know last week we had a, we had a sneak peek of that energy um there's going to be pluto's going to dip back into capricorn and it's going to resurrect some issues regarding the economy and big government okay whatever that means to you wherever you are okay take it how it resonates but for real this week is the week if you didn't do it before you need to mind your own business okay mind the business that pays you okay if you have to work in groups delegate whatever part of a project somebody needs to do give them specific details so you can I don't even want to say <laughs> isolate yourself from it, but it's best to do that because somebody's going to take something the wrong way and say that you did something to offend them or they might snap on you. And it probably don't have nine times out of ten. It might not have anything to do with you, okay? Just keep that in mind, okay? So let's see. Chat. Okay. Divine Holy Spirit, what additional energies will the collective be working with for june 5th to the 11th of 2023 like for real for real y'all keep your head down keep working and mind your own business this is the week for minding your own business okay i'm just saying <laughs> additional energies excuse me for the collective for june 5th to the 11th of 2023 there we go pisces the mystic imaginative remember i was talking about the imagination being in your head compassionate healing empathetic mystical adoring magical allowing dreamy ephemeral enigmatic spiritual emotional escapist impractical oceanic self-pitying and illogical pisces the mystic okay what additional energies okay trying flow harmonizes aids enriches benefits energizes enjoys eases lubricates gifts rhymes supports and indulges okay a lot of watery like people being in their emotions i told <laughs> okay additional energies for the collective okay we're gonna take this can't make this up okay we have scorpio the animal transformative intense yeah the energy is going to be intense for this week passionate secretive carnal thorough obsessive intimate primal lusty deep eternal resourceful mysterious regenerative compulsive destructive and manipulative that's that energy beware people is gonna like i said be snapping and baby you gonna have to surrender that's for everybody the 12th house surrender subconscious mind compassion dreams karma forgiveness baggage trans states the unseen healing spiritual development guilt prayer and akashic records for some of y'all if you don't um do meditation you might have to do some work spiritual work with going into some type of trance uh communing with your spirit commun communing with your guides your angels your ancestors to help you get through this week just tap into your akashic records to see how you can navigate this energy okay that's never a bad idea okay check in with your angels your guides and your ancestors okay all right thank you divine holy spirit what additional energies okay can't make this up the 11th house the age did not <laughs> friendship group creativity community but it was in reverse <laughs> Humanity, hope, tribe, festivals, discoveries, come and go, startups, rebellion, experiment, and the future. It was in the reverse, y'all. So you know what I was telling you about if you can avoid groups, do that at all costs. I'm just saying, okay? This ain't the week to be up in everybody's face, in everybody's business, because that stuff will backfire this week, okay? Can't make this stuff up, Okay what additional message do you have for energy
What additional energies will the collective be working with for the week of June 5th to the 11th of 2023? Semi sextile allowing encourages, sees the potential, and clarifies, gives hope to compensates, intuits, tempers, responds, cycles, grows, realizes, and rewards. So, for a lot of y'all, I feel like this energy is going to help you to pick up on some stuff that's going on with other people. Like I said, use your intuition to help you navigate this energy because I said, like I said, people are going to be doing some stuff that you be like, what does that have to do with anything or saying some stuff? And you really, for some of y'all, stay at home. I ain't going to be, I'm not going to miss words. Stay at home if you can, okay? Uh, if you work from home, that's even better, okay? But if you have to go out and work during this week, mind the business that pays you and don't be uh talking if somebody asks you something you answer it to the best of your ability and go on about your business because somebody's going to pull you into some stuff that might blow up in your and their face okay so the final card is the four house roots family home background comfort cooking inner world real estate shelter self-care remember i was talking about self-care this is during this week and during that weekend is a great time for self-care, spending time with yourself, spending time with your family, and just getting some stuff done for yourself. Okay, rejuvenation habits and shell. For some of y'all, um, some of y'all might be the type you're um, researching your family history or ancestry or your family lines are coming across your mind and you're, you're wanting to do that for a lot of y'all. For some of y'all, y'all are going home or connecting with uh, certain relatives uh, or trying to find out more about your ancestry or your relatives. So this is a, a time to do that. Uh, eighth house, intimacy, investments, intensity, contracts. Uh, I'm going to put it up there so y'all can see all this. Inheritance, kundalini energy, stalking the underworld. Now, like I was saying, that energy, that seems very scorpionic to me. There's always a positive and a negative side of the energy uh you want to be mindful of that like i said people are going to be doing some strange things during this week or they're going to be on edge they're going to be about to snap and you're going to feel like you're on eggshells it might be somebody who might be i don't know doing some weird stuff i'll just put it that way okay i'm just saying i don't want to scare nobody okay so as a split the deck we have the four of pentacles and the nine of swords okay interesting holding on for dear life and trying to get through whatever this anxiety and this energy is that is all around everyone okay yo okay so divine holy spirit what additional messages do you have for the collective for the week of june 5th to the 11th of 2023 again that's june 5th to the 11th of 2023 Mm -hmm. it's already some weird energy going on but anywho just hold on and embrace the impact okay so we have the king of swords we have the hangman that's pisces energy again can't make this stuff up the seven of pentacles the four of wands that's four of house that's home family roots the tower the scorpionic energy that's pluto energy too i believe if i'm not mistaken the king of wands <laughs> and temperance did, okay overall energy of the world this energy here although chaotic is clearing the way is opening up the way okay you just have to go with the flow trust your intuition tap into your intuition and don't disregard whatever feeling or gut feeling you have about a particular person place or thing but for real when i say about people and places i don't want y'all to be 
paranoid, but paranoid just means aware to me, super aware. I want y'all to be vigilant and use your discernment. If you feel like being the king of source energy, whether you be divine masculine or divine feminine, if you feel like something or someone or a certain place has this weird vibe or off vibe about it, try to pivot away from that place if you can. But if it's at work, if you feel like somebody you've been assigned to work with got some issues going on, you try to navigate it to the best of your ability with the king, as the king of swords and the hangman. I feel like you might feel like you're stuck between a rock and a hard place because you might have to work with this person. Could be a boss, a business partner, or whatever. I feel like y'all not young. Sometimes when I uh, channel, whatever this is, you have to. Uh, you're gonna have to tap into your spirituality for this. I'm not lying to you because whatever it is for some of y'all, somebody you've been working on something with for a very long time, they might just decide to snap and like verbally abuse you some type of way or try to that's gonna be the straw that breaks the camel's bag i just heard okay and you have to keep your cool seven of pentacles because it's like you've been trying to avoid this or you might be trying to avoid this particular person or you know the energy is weird how it's going during this week you might just be trying to get your work done, seven of pentacles, and go on about your business. But I feel like someone is going to try to affect your whatever is going on in your home, like your money, seven of pentacles, in your home life. Whoever this is, this is the boss, or you're the boss. And I feel like they're making you have to decide whether or not you're going to accept what they're giving you at the job for a lot of y'all, or are you going to strike out on your own king of wands lord have mercy for some of y'all though i feel like y'all felt this coming and you've seen in common with the seven of pentacles so you've been saving money or you've been working on a side project or a side business so when this tower moment comes i feel like you're not gonna even feel any type of way about it i kept picking up on somebody i don't want to scare y'all but feeling like was on edge like somebody had it out for you on the job or something let me clarify the tower though i keep feeling like somebody is trying to it's like they would mm -hmm, that scorpion energy that scorpio cancer and pisces with queen of, queen of cups in reverse it's like somebody feeling like somebody had it out for them on the job can't make these up look at it king of swords again a boss or somebody then a death card that scorpio energy again like you felt like somebody on the job or in a business deal had it out for you and it's it's either where you might have to walk away because this person is if it's nine to five they're gonna affect your money and you, you've already seen this coming, so you've been planning on this. For some of y'all, y'all already had an exit strategy, but you're going to have to implement it a little bit sooner uh, in order for you to maintain your stability. And some of y'all have already been doing that. For others of y'all, you might be doing a business deal with someone, and you see them start, start acting erratically. You're going to have to cut ties with them and do whatever you're, you were doing on your own, okay? You might have to buy them out of a project or buy them out of a business. Ooh, child. Because you're going to have to use your discernment and know what's best because whoever this person is, whether they are a family member um, that works for you or you're doing a project or some, something together, they too erratic. I just heard. They are too erratic, okay? Um... With the temperance card, this is about bringing things back into balance. Um, for some of y'all, the person... Now, y'all remember when I was shuffling the astro cards, Sagittarius, and when I picked it up, but I didn't take it. Sagittarius came out. This is Sagittarius energy, the temperance card. So something needs to be put back in balance, and this energy, whatever it is this week, is putting it back in balance for the collective. Take it how it applies to you because as this unfolds, you might have to come back and watch the reading and say, oh, this part was for me, this part was whatever. Take it how it resonates for you because I feel like a lot of y'all, you just want peace. How this uh, uh, temperance card is, it's like you see how people are moving and you like, nah, I can't rock with that. Okay. 
Oh, no, I, I need to move away from that. For some of y'all that's changing jobs, for some of y'all that's buying someone out of a business or a project, whatever type of deal, you might have to back away from something and start something totally new. But I feel like you're at peace with that. You made your peace with that because you've been seeing signs and synchronicities from spirit, from other, uh, from your angels. And it's like whoever you've been trying to work with, for some of y'all working with them is a liability, whether it be on a nine to five job, they being your boss or you being theirs, but, or in a business or creative endeavor. It's like you want balance and peace and all this person uh, has been doing is been acting erratic out of a uh, order and you really don't want to deal with that anymore. Ooh, child. And I told you that's the energy for this week is like, Whatever issues is going on, for some of y'all, this could be the stock market or something in government that's causing you to feel or experience this tower. Take it how it resonates with y'all. I'm not trying to scare you, okay? But it's better to be prepared than to just have, be out here swinging in the wind, okay? Ooh, baby. But I feel like some of y'all can feel this coming and you've been either pushing something away or saving something or moving things where they need to be for you. I'll put it that way. Um, yeah, but somebody, but for those of you who resonate with working with a family member or a friend, I keep picking up on that, who's out of balance, out of whack. It's like you've been trying to do some type of business deal with them or you hired them or something and it's like something gonna happen and they gonna make seriously make you regret that you're gonna have to cut ties with them some type of way especially professionally or in a business or a creative project you're gonna have to cut ties with them in order to maintain your peace and your balance it's like you already knew it but you was trying to give somebody the benefit of the doubt but they gonna fly off the, with this energy this week child they gonna fly off the handle whoever this is jeez okay Ooh, that was a strange, but let me get up out of that energy. Let me, hold on, y'all. Y'all, I'm finna, when I tell you that energy is funky, I'm finna light the sage in front of y'all. Mm-mm. I, I can't be, mm-mm. And y'all know, I, it's rare for me to light the sage right here. Either I already have it lit, and then I just let it burn out, but this, mm-mm, this right here, this energy is wild, yo. Good, good, yeah. We got ooh, mm -mm. okay. All right, y'all. Oh, Lord, okay. Divine Holy Spirit, what additional message or messages do you have for the collective for the week of June 5th to the 11th of 2023? I thought a car flew. <laughs> I was like, what? Hold on, chat this energy here. Yeah. Oh, Lord, okay message for the collective that's too many one or two spirit not three and four for the collective need to shuffle again one more time let's do it one more all right Y'all see what, okay, that's on top. We're going to take that self care. Spirit say whatever. I told you what I told you. Okay, y'all going to see why I said that. Okay, first card came out was what? Intuition. Trust your intuition. Trust your intuition. What If you feel like something is about to happen, that's because it is. What was I talking about? In the astrological overview, if you don't remember, rewind. I was talking about self-care, taking time to take care of yourself. You might get burnt out. Okay? Queen of Cups in reverse. Queen or King of Cups, take care of resonance. That might be the tower moment for you. Or you might be out of it because you've been dealing with someone, like I was saying before, who 
they've been acting erratic lately and you're going to have to cut ties with them. You're going to have to take care of yourself and move forward on your own in this business pursuit or something and focus. Okay. You need to focus on what you need to focus on. Isn't that like, looking like that trying energy? Because I guarantee you, whatever this is, is moving someone or something out of the way so you can move forward and grow. Okay. I want y'all to see that growth. That's the Empress energy, okay? But I want to read number 20 for some reason, okay? And that, that intuition is on, the, the eye is a thing. Use your intuition, okay? So the, the card says, focus. Everything is energy, including your thoughts. Think of your thoughts as different cars driving by. You have somewhere that you need to travel to and you have the choice of any vehicle that passes. Would you want to get into every car or would you select the one that seems the best equipped to get you to your destination? Every thought can be a step either towards, for, few, towards forward movement or stagnation. Okay. If this car came up, it is because you must pay attention to where you allow your focus to lead your thoughts. Okay? So don't, even though this week and the energy is going to be erratic, try to put a positive spin on things, okay? Where possible, okay? Being aware of where you put your energy mentally and emotionally will enable you to create a more self-empowered journey. Okay, it's time to not only realize that you have a choice about where you focus your energy, but to also see how those thoughts are affecting your energy. So like I was saying before, for someone, you might have an epiphany, a, a spiritual epiphany that you might have been overworking yourself or you might have been putting too much energy into something with someone who doesn't have the same passion that you do about a project or business pursuit. Or even on the job. For some of y'all. I'm just saying. And that's going to come to a head this week. So get ready. Get ready. Intuition is the inner accurate. Is the accurate inner knowing. That each of us is born with. If you choose to tune into it more consistently. It will become stronger. And it can help to guide you and bring you peace throughout every aspect of your life. What card was there? Was it talking about tapping into the Akashic Records? Number 12 and the fourth house talks about uh, your ancestors, roots, and family, okay? So tap into your intuition and to your Akashic Records. That will help, okay? What do I feel about this? Uh, well, you are being called to ask yourself, what do I feel about this? By remembering to start with that question, it will allow you to understand the difference between what you think and what you feel. Sometimes it is necessary to be aware of the profound difference between the nature of these two things. You are not being asked to completely sacrifice intellectual thought, but rather to combine it with your gift of intuition in order to gain a more balanced, to gain more balanced temperance energy. And that self-care card says the same thing. <laughs> Um, balance and clarity in your life and decisions. And I feel like a lot of y'all have been tapping into that um, balance in the past, but you're really being called to tap into your intuition and your discernment. Because for some of y'all, it might save you a lot of trouble down the line with having to split uh, with a job or a business partner or something. Or even a romantic partner for some of y'all. Take it how it resonates. For some of y'all, being aware of tapping into your intuition and listening to your body as it tells you. You know how you feel when you walk into a room and you you know someone there isn't right. You need to listen to that. Okay. Uh, I don't want to be dramatic, but it might just save your life. I'm just saying. If you feel a bad vibe about a particular place, I don't care who you told you was going to show up there. If you get there and the energy is off, leave. Okay, even if it's work, you might have to make up an excuse. For some of y'all, y'all feeling this, you might have to call in to work or whatever because you feel like something 
ain't right, okay? I'm just saying. Take that part, that last part, if it resonates for you. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed the reading. If you did, give the video a thumbs up, share, subscribe, join our tribe, hit the notification bell, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye, guys.